We're in Tabacal province. What can you tell us? Tabacal was once a major coffee producer, but over the last few years, Santa Blanca has forced the coffee growers to become cocoleros instead, growing leaf exclusively for the cartel. Who's our target? A cartel boss named Madra Coca. The cocoleros are terrified of her. Take a look at the video I just sent and you'll understand why. She runs Tabacal like her own mini cartel. Production of coca leaf, distribution by truck and train, and enough security to keep the cocoleros in line and the convoy secure. All of it run with ruthless efficiency. I'm in contact with a small group of rebels. They're willing to help us fight the cartel if we can prove our good intentions. You got any suggestions? Two things you can do to earn their trust. First, an old cocolero named Chavez has been trying to get the farmers to stand up to the cartel. Word is he's giving a speech to the cocoleros at the agricultural cooperative. Make contact with him there and keep him safe. What else? Supposedly, the cartel collects their coca in this province from a single farm. Ambush the cartel when they come for the coca. That should send a message to the cocoleros and disrupt Madro Coca's production. <laughs> Ruperta Faro, Madre Coca. They used to grow coffee here in Tabacal, but the cartels made them switch to coca. A lot more profitable. If you ever tried to snort Italian roast, you'll know why. Spoiler alert, this is frowned upon at coffee shops. Don't ask. Madre Coca grew up as a raspuccina, a coca picker. When it comes to illegal coca farms, there's no such thing as child labor laws. It was brutal, backbreaking work. She had a son whom she'd always dream would move on to better things. He didn't. Young Pablo died from a coke overdose. How does a mother who grows coca deal with growing the product that killed her own kid? Most people see the error of their ways and move on to something else. For Madra Coca, it was the exact opposite. She took out her anger on the people of Tabacal, forcing them to endure the same hardship she had experienced. And like any tyrant, she expanded her empire. This led to resentment from the people, which she dealt with. With the backing of El Yeyo, she became a very powerful woman in the cartel. A new twist on an age-old lesson. You don't fuck with Mama. A respected cocolero named Chavez is trying to spur the locals to revolt against Madra Coca. We need to keep him alive at all costs. up in the agricultural cooperative now. There's Chavez. He's probably about to make his big speech. More like a big middle finger to the cartel. The guy's got balls, I'll give him that. Let's see if we could talk some sense into him before this gets ugly. Who the demonios are you? Did Madre Coca send you? Expecting trouble, senor? Oiga, you didn't answer my question. I'm a friend, and I'm trying to keep you from making a big mistake. Mistake? Usted que sabe? Since when is helping my people a mistake? If you make this speech, people are gonna get killed. It's that simple. Madre Coca is gonna send in her people, and it's gonna get bloody. So I should stay silent? That's your answer? Se equivoca. Then you are no better than Madre Coca. Get out of my way, gringo. I must speak with my people. This is Nomad. We're at the Agricultural Cooperative. Chavez blew off our warning. He's about to speak to the Cocoleros. The rebels say Chavez is the real deal. A true revolutionary. He's a dead man walking. The cartel is not gonna let this slide. Do whatever it takes to keep Chavez alive. That'll show the rebels we're serious about stopping Madre Coca. On it. You finished. Before the cartel came, we were our own men. Hombres libres. Sembrábamos café. And send it our field with pride. What are we now? Call to the rebels for some reinforcements. ¿Qué nos ha hecho esta diabólica mujer? ¿Qué nos ha hecho Madre Coca? I will tell you. Everyone on the ground, get down. Copy. Shooting these fuckers. 
Clear over here. Wrapped it up. Chavez is secure. Good work. Keep digging for intel on Madre Coca's operations. We need to know where the coca leaves are going and where they're being stored prior to transit. Roger that. We're on it. 